there's only one thing to do while tucking away into those cold turkey sandwiches, and that's to edit your Christmas videos in LumaFusion. That's right, today we're starting to form our festive edits and diving into our favorite editor. Now where you edit is really up to you. Chilling on the sofa, or at a coffee shop during the sales, or in my case, in a cupboard, hiding away from any more forced festive fun. <laughs> so let's open our editors together and dive into LumaFusion. We're going to start a new project here and title it appropriately. Of course, using all the Christmas emojis we can find. Be sure to choose the frame aspect ratio for your project if you're working with a range of different files at different sizes, but if not, just dive straight in. So here we are in a new project, a fresh start awaiting a world of festive possibilities. In this session, we're going to do a rough edit of our clips. So by tomorrow, we're ready to reorder and form our story. First things first is to make sure you know where all of your content is and have it easily accessible to you. If you shot the content on your device or you're just airdropping it or sending it from other devices onto the one you're editing, put it all in a folder in your device's camera roll so it's all together in one neat place in the media library. If you need to download and import from cloud storage, you can do so here. And if you need to access media on a memory card or a hard drive, simply attach it to your smartphone or tablet and access it via the linked folders. Some editors like to organize their media even further at this stage by renaming the files so they're easily identifiable. To do this, tap on them up here in the media library, tap the information icon on the preview bar and the three dots here to expand the menu. Then label as you see fit. You can also color code too by tapping the small circle on the bottom left of the media library when a clip is selected and choosing from this selection. This is great for when you want certain clips to be particular colors on the timeline or if you want to find them easily using the search feature. Right, so now we have all of our media in one place. We're going to start wading through the content. I'm going to show you in this video how I would tackle any project from scratch, which I hope will be of assistance to you and show you one way of working, of which of course there are many. What I'd like you to do is grab the best bits from every clip and bring them down onto your timeline. There's no need here to watch every single clip through for this. That's going to take you a long time and frankly, you can't watch Love Actually while doing it, can you? So follow along with me here. Tap each clip and use the trimming handles under the preview to pick the best bits that are usable. Note, this is not the perfect clip for your final edit. You're just choosing all the clips that could potentially be used. For clips with people speaking, just top and tail these. So for every clip, I'm looking to cut out the shaky or the blurry footage or scenes that are clearly not going to be in the final video. Get in the swing of this until it becomes fun. You can actually speed up as you go. The whole process is tap, trim and drag to timeline. Tap, trim and drag to timeline. While you're doing this, it's a good shout to organize your content on the timeline in a fashion that's clear to look through later on when you're actually ordering your clips. So for example, you might put all of your interviews or pieces to camera at the beginning and all your B-roll later on down the timeline. You can swap from insert to overwrite mode to help you do this. When you're done, use filler text to help you see what's what and if necessary, color code your clips on the timeline to help you see what you're looking at without having to constantly preview the media. So this is your task for today. And when you're done, you should have a lovely timeline filled with all your best content. It means that when you go to reorder your clips and actually craft your story, you'll have everything you need ready to go in one place. So you don't have to go looking for your shots. Again, this is just one way of prepping your timeline. You might have other workflows and there are many ways to create and craft an edit. But the purpose of today's task is to get yourself to a stage where tomorrow you're able to craft your material, structuring your story and kicking off the storytelling process in the edit. Yeah.